Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. Yes, it's quite a mouthful of a, a name for a product, but this is essentially Google's flagship for the second half of 2024. Now, I'm not the only one to have purchased a Google Pixel uh, 9 Pro XL with their own pocket money. Our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash, has also purchased one. So he'll be doing the setup video uh, after this one, after we've published this one on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. To make sure you don't miss that video, please do click subscribe and have that notification bell turned on. Anyway, in terms of packaging, Google have gone with a trend that we've seen from many manufacturers in recent years. It is recycled cardboard. It is a simpler uh, packaging design. And you can see that this year, uh, rather than just being a box, it's a box with a sleeve around it. So there's a cardboard sleeve around it. And on the sleeve, you get a visual representation of the device you've purchased. In this case, my Google Pixel 9 Pro XL in Hazel. Now, interestingly, to get the sleeve off, you need to pull these tabs off the back. These are essentially little tabs that get it off. Accessibility-wise, that isn't much of an issue. You see, I'm not using my jerry rig, everything uh, knife here for this. But as you can see, Google Pixel 9 Pro XL branding on the two sides of the box, N just a G for Google at the top, and a simplified dis uh, depiction of the device on there. Great, so I'm going to pull the lid off, open the box, and wow, that looks really good. So in the box, Quite simply, we have the device, a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, and uh, we'll need to try that out at a later point. And that's it. There is nothing else in the box. This is really, really simple. Um, no unnecessary documentation, no USB-A to USB Type-C adapters, nothing. Oh wait, here we go. There is, it's in the lid. It was what was keeping things together. So we have a SIM ejector tool. I was wrong there. SIM ejector tool and a little bit of documentation, which I'm sure I'll never read. So this is everything that's in the box. Really simple. Makes it a nice little short video. Uh, I'll give you a quick run through of the hardware. We'll take the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL out of its little paper covering. Simple. Oh, it feels really nice in the hand. So this is the back of the camera. You can see that camera module, which also has a temperature sensor, little, little thermometer, which we'll be trying out in testing. Um, the sides of the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL are glossy, uh, glossy metal, very nice, very glossy. I'm going to be having this in a case, but it is nice to initially look at that glossiness whilst I've already left some fingerprints on it. The back of the phone feels matte. It's a matte finish. And the subtle Google logo on that hazel, hazel uh, uh, matte finish glass back is very, very nice. It changes, it goes from sort of slightly blurred to, to clear according to the amount of light you're putting on the device. And as with other Pixel devices, we have the volume rocker below the power button, so the power button is higher up. Um, we have our little 5G ultra wideband antenna here at the top, the microphone hole at the top, and at the bottom we have our SIM tray, sadly right next to a microphone hole, so remember to be very careful when uh, dealing with your, 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 your SIM card that you don't accidentally pierce your, your microphone, USB Type-C and a speaker grill. So it all looks pretty good. Uh, as I said, our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash, will be doing the full setup video uh, here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. So we expect that early next week. Uh, he uh, is already working on that at the moment. But for now, uh, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.